Guys, I guess I'm coming back at you for another album review. And I wasn't going to do this until tomorrow, but fuck it. I'm just going to get it out of the way. I've already heard it enough, so it's I can judge it at a fair review and give it the best review I can. So, attention, attention is what I'm doing. I'm going through track by track for Shinedown's new album, Attention, Attention. And letting you know my thoughts on these songs. Starting with track number one, which is uh, The Entrance. If you've seen the video, that's pretty much what the melody is. It's, yeah, the video, the start where you hear the knock on the door and then he walks in and pulls the chair up and takes a breather at the end of the song. That's what The Entrance uh, starts with. That's how the album starts, so that's what you can expect when you hear the first song. And then it I'll give it a 5 out of 5, because it does lead into the next song. So, track number 2, Devil, which is a single taken from this record, and they made a video for it, like I just explained. Devil is a very good song. The melody is great, the lyrics are good. The prima donna thing, I know some people had a problem with that and made it f people cringe a little, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me as much, so I, I really enjoyed this song. There's a lot to like about it. The melody's great. The drums and guitars in it are good. Brent's voice is just all over the place. So, I'm giving this song a 5 out of 5. Moving on. Track number 3, Black Soul. The start of it showed the... Uh, I think the p piano going... Do, 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 do. It's really good. It's a catchy song. It's very heavy. Uh, the chorus I really like. Where you screams, wake up, pull yourself together. It's really good. Uh, the chorus is my favorite in this song. And this song is my personal favorite off this album. I think Black Soul is deserving for a 5 out of 5. It was an enjoyable song. There was a lot to like about it. Track number 4, which is the title track. Attention, attention. Well, the start of it, you hear a noise in the beginning and then hear attention, attention, and then it throws itself in the melody. He actually did a rap th thing in the verse to start it, but it's a really good song. But it's. I think it's okay to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Because when I first heard it, I wasn't as crazy about it, but it's a really good song. It's just, there are things, I think when Brent's singing in the chorus, it feels a little bit off, but not to the point where it's bad. So, I'll give Attention, Attention a 4.5 out of 5. Track number 5, Kill Your Conscience. The start of it's good. I think the when Brent's trying to throw his voice in the chorus, it sounds a little bit off, but not to the point where it's bad. I don't hate it, it's just that's... It kind of doesn't give it a 5 out of 5. It drops the rating a little, so I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5, but it's still a very good song. It's just... It's... That's the only thing that made it bad, when Brent's trying to throw his voice into the chorus. So that's why I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. Track number 6, Pyro. Now the start of it was really good. The intros to these songs are great. They're really good. They're very ominous and very uh, grungy and dark. They're pretty interesting. It's, 
you just will like the intros to the this song, to these albums. Well, the majority of them. So, Pyro was really fast-paced for the drums and all that. It was great. They held nothing back in this song. I like the chorus in it. We just want to start a fire. They just want to let it burn. And then he says it again. Want to let it burn. But I like after the chorus set fire to the family tree. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> but this song was another favorite. I like and the screams at the end were great. So, uh, Brent went all out in this song. With his voice in this song. And it was great. I'm giving this song a 5 out of 5. Track number 7. Uh, Monsters. Well, it starts off a little bit mellow. And then the chorus dives in and you hear the drums crashing a little bit. Lyrically, when he's throwing his voice in there, it's okay. Uh, it's okay to give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's a really good song, but it's not good enough to give it a 5 out of 5. I'm not saying it's a terrible song. It's a really good song. It's just it lacks a few things. It lacks one thing that they screwed up. Well... It doesn't matter. Almost every song is just going to either have its good songs or its bad songs. So, moving on. Uh, Monsters still is getting a 4.5 out of 5. Moving on to track number 8, Dark Side. This song, the drums in it just start and they go a little bit fast. And it's pretty good. Uh... The chorus is good. The when they drop the after the goes into this little funky beat, like when he's trying to sing "Welcome to the Dark Side." It's okay. It that kind of made the song a little okay, but still really good. It's still a jamming song. I love it. But I have to say it's going to get a 4.5 out of 5. Because that's the only thing that makes it a little okay. But still, it works. The song's really good. Track number 9. Creatures. Now, I like the never give in in the backgrounds. We're going, never give in, never give in. And that's great. I like that throughout the whole song that was really good uh this song is really good it's supposed to be dark but it's an enjoyable song i love it a lot i'm giving it a five out of five i i really enjoyed this song track number 10 uh evolve now the start of it was very heavy drums crashing and everything and it was very good uh it's a shorter song sadly but it's a really good song it's a good headbanger to jam out to and i'm giving it a five out of five the chorus is great the mostly the instruments in this song are great that's what makes the song very good. So I'm giving it a f 5 out of 5. Track 11, Get Up. Technically, I feel this song could be a single. And maybe a video. I don't know for sure, but... I think this song's good. After... At first I was... Thinking it would get a 4 out of 5, but no. I think this song's deserving for a 4.5 out of 5 because the chorus is good. Get up, get up, get a move on. When you hear the drums going a little hard, you're like, eh. I think it's good. After you hear it a good enough times, you'd understand where I'm coming from and why I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. Moving on, 
track number 12 special this was the only mellow song on this album well get up was a little bit mellow but still had the drums in it but specials mostly the mellowest song in this record and I'd give it a four out of five because it's okay it's a decent song it's just uh, they wanted to do a mellow one and I get it they want to slow the they want to take a break from the hard stuff and do it in the next song so specials getting a four out of five track number 13 the human radio my favorite song and still my favorite song uh, the video is great I already said I'd give it a five out of five it's getting a five out of five I do like the march, we fight, we live, we scream without a care, we want the world to know we are the human radio. That was my favorite part in the song. Still is. Final track, track 14, uh, brilliant. This is the closer for the record. The start of it, I felt was okay, and I was afraid it was going to be a shitty song, because it was going to be mellow. I was gonna be like, no, no, because at first I skipped it, but after that I really listened to it, and then I heard the guitars go revving out, then I'm like, okay, and then this is gonna go fast, and it did. It went very fast, drums really going at it, and it's great. This song is very good, a good closer for this record, and it's getting a 5 out of 5. And it only went through 3 minutes and 52 seconds of him saying, uh, brilliant, or it's my day to be brilliant, uh, two times he did that. And then you hear the background where the guy's leaving and closing the door, and then the guy says, till next time. And then that, he's just pacing, and then that's the end. Guys, this record is their comeback record. Shinedown fucked up on the last record because they wanted to experiment. I didn't hate Threat to Survival, it's just they went a different direction to the point where Shinedown was gonna suck. Cause Threat to Survival was all pop rock experimental shit. And I was like, no. Threat to Survival, compared to Attention and Tension and Threat to Survival now, it makes Threat to Sur this album makes Threat to Survival look like a bitch. And, yeah. I'm giving Attention Attention a 9 out of 10. It's a really good record. It is worth buying. And you'll have a really good time listening to this. So that's going to be it for this review. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on Attention, Attention, the album. And I'll see you in the next video. So, take care.